My name is Ace Curtis. I'm from San Diego, California. And I'm here to share with you something I'm very passionate about, which is growth and why a growth mindset is so important. Now, as I'm speaking with you today, I encourage all of you to think about what growth means to you. Now, I'm passionate about this because growth is the foundation for positive improvement. When we generically think about the word growth, we think about something growing, getting taller, getting bigger, getting better. As we've gotten older, we evolve and we change, especially as we learn more about ourselves, who we are, and who we want to be. I started to seek growth when I wanted to be better, a better person, better for my family, better to my friends, better in relationships. But most importantly, how can I be better for me? How can I continue to discover more about who I am? What does that even mean? And where do you start? I'd like to start with TAG. I love the TAG acronym because it means so many good and positive things. Transparency plus acceptance equals growth, for example. So let's add another dimension to TAG. Take total accountability of your goals and grow. As we're talking about growth mindset, I want you guys to ask yourself some of these questions. How are you growing? How are you growing on a personal level? How are you continuously improving? How are you holding yourself accountable to your growth? How are you growing from a mental and psychological health perspective? How are you growing to become a better person so that you can be better and impact others in the world more positively? Let's think about it from a career perspective too. Are you building your skills? Do you have a mentor? Is growth something you see as something someone else should coach you on? Or do you own your own development? How are you achieving your next level of good? What are the milestones you've created to get there? Growth is really an acronym. Goals, responsibility, ownership, the will to win, tenaciousness, and higher. Let's start with G. From a goals perspective, you need to have goals and create milestones around your growth. Growth should not just be something you are saying. People say that they're growing, but they're not actively changing mindsets, actions, or behaviors towards growth. And this leads us into responsibility. Responsibility is about doing things the right way. It's about operating with integrity. Res growth is not about holding other people down or holding someone else back so that you can advance forward. It's also not about growing in ego and thinking you're too good for people now that you started to grow. Some of you may have observed someone on their growth journey, but they led with ego. And so they made other people feel insignificant or small or that they were better than them. But we have a responsibility to help others as we grow. We should be responsible towards sharing our growth journey with others. We should be stewards of growth for ourselves and nurturers and encouragers of growth to others. That will lead us into ownership. From an ownership perspective, you have to own it. Are you holding yourself accountable and keep the mirror up to yourself? Are you being consistent? You have to be disciplined with your growth. So are you committed to yourself? Are you disciplined enough to not give yourself any excuses and to own your growth? With the will to win, we have to have a will to win and a drive to achieve. There should be a passion and a fire behind your growth. Behind your growth as well should be your why. What is your why? Why do you want to grow? Your why should facilitate all the things we just finished talking about. It should facilitate your ownership, drive your ability to uh, drive accountability, support you being responsible, and help you achieve your goals. This leads into tenacity. 
there should be a tenaciousness behind your growth. The definition of tenacious is to keep a firm hold of something. It means to not easily or readily relinquish a position, principle, or action. It means to be persistent and determined. And I think that that's very powerful. So when you think about your growth, hold on to it. You should not easily relinquish the investment you're making in yourself and in your growth. Sometimes it can become passive. So people say, if it happens, it happens. Or if it's meant to be, it will be. And that's such a lazy mindset and mentality to have towards your growth. You should have that tenaciousness and wanting to achieve. And when you do, you get higher. Your growth should flow northeast like a good stock, consistently trending upward. You should actually be growing. So as we get higher, our growth is often about incremental success. It's not about creating or having dramatic leaps forward or these incredible breakthroughs. What it should be about is adding some patience to your growth. Sometimes there's a balance between patience and tenacity that we don't always apply the logic towards. So I'll give you guys a basketball example. As a basketball player, if they go hard and practice one day, tomorrow they're not going to be Kobe Bryant. What they should have is a tenaciousness in practice, reflected by the effort, energy, and time that they put there. There should be a will to win that gets them there consistently. They should have that will to want to get better. The ownership comes in accountability and doing the techniques and the little things, even if, especially if, they don't feel like going. The responsibility comes in the form of being a team player, supporting your teammates, not being selfish, and helping them get better too. The goal may be to become MVP or to win the championship, but the success is aligned with the patience that it takes to see the incremental success happen on the court over time. So in closing, I encourage all of you to tag, take action and grow. Take action and set your goals. Be responsible while you're growing. Own it and hold yourselves accountable. Stand your why and thus your will to win. And with that, bring the tenaciousness and hold firm to your growth path. When you bring all that together, you'll elevate higher. So goals, responsibility, ownership, the will to win, tenaciousness, higher. You need every element of growth to truly grow. Thank you.